everyone. Welcome to Toy Break, episode 262. I'm Aileen. I'm George. And I'm Edgar. Edgar, a.k.a. Little House, right here on the couch. Little House on the little couch. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's a normal size couch. It's nice snug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should have brought a love seat in for this. That would have that, worked that is with true. that joke way that better. Been better. In case you're wondering, Toy Break is your weekly internet show featuring news and reviews all about the wonderful world of toys, including, but not limited to, designer vinyl, action figures, plush, collectibles, uh, how-tos, interviews, event coverage, anything we can get our hands on in said wonderful world of toys. That's what we, ooh, ooh, <laughs> jazz hands. <Yeah. laughs> That's what we bring to you. So let's start as we usually do by thanking our site sponsors like Superpower Collectibles, DKE Toys, 3D Retro, Tomonosuke, Happy Panda Toys, Art Attack Toys, Grumpy Burt, Vinyl Riot. Vinyl Riot, your one-stop destination for designer toys, offering a huge selection of DIYs and art supplies to satisfy all your creative needs. Don't forget to sign up for their newsletter to receive their Riot Deal of the Week, a secret promotion given only to their subscribers. VinylRiot.com. From Bees. <laughs> Puppet Heap, Puppet Heap, a world of stories on your hand. Dragatomi. And Button Lab. Yay, thank you to all of our sponsor, site sponsors. Yay. We uh, appreciate their support. They help us bring the show to you, as do your donations, which we have a few people to thank for right now. Do it. We'd like to thank Jillian from Canada, Adam from Japan, Carson from Missouri, Will from Washington, Squire from Kentucky, and James from Louisiana. And that means Washington is on the map. Ooh, oh, a new the one. first Washington? Nice. Sweet. Since this well, whole you, thing started. You called out Tennessee Idaho. a few? Or I think you Idaho, called out Idaho. Something like that. And we didn't get one. Maybe so. we don't have anybody in Idaho. No one in Idaho is watching this Does show. Does anyone know anyone in Idaho? Just have them watch the show <laughs> for like a minute. Send them a telegraph. <laughs> They're obviously not, They're obviously not on the internet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do we also have a contest going on right now? Yes, the Battle Beast Mini Mate contest. Uh, provided by Diamond Select Toys, you can win one of two full sets of Series 1 Battle Beasts. It includes eight awesome figures. Uh, all you have to do is post the animal you would like to see as a Battle Beast uh, in the contest section on the Toy Break Forum. Deadline is May 29th. You don't have to draw it. You don't have to do anything. You just post which animal you think would make a cool battle honor. beast of battle. And I <laughs> huge thank you to Jeremy for drawing a battle honor, which was <laughs> amazing on Facebook. I haven't seen that. I, haven't I will show it to you. Nice. <laughs> because I really want a battle honor. I want a shirt. I want a toy. Did he put it on the I forum? Want... Um, I'm not sure. To I enter saw the it on contest? Facebook. If not, he should. He I mean, should. It's pretty awesome. Get it on know. the forum. <laughs> so all you have to do is type yeah. on that one. Yeah, just put the whatever word. I mean, you could put a picture of something. If you feel like drawing it, like the battle honor, you may well draw it if you'd like to. You may That's well. Cool. <laughs> Mayhaps. Mayhaps. May perhaps. <laughs> All right, let's get on to some news. Uh, just a couple quick things before we get to all the exciting things that you have to tell us about. Uh, first up, we have Mechanized Mad Men. This is by Mikey Graham or Graham. I know it's Graham. I'm just having fun. This is a new custom blind box series with over 50 pieces consisting of seven custom Android designs by artists and innovators from all over the world. Each custom comes with removable Playmobil representation of its creator and is packaged inside a custom box with wooden display base. Each one goes for $100 exclusively at dragatomi.com. That's a lot. So go check that out. Well, you figure, I mean, basically you're getting two custom figures and a base. Oh, no, I meant like... It's a lot oh, a for lot you to read. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that sounds that sounds. Oh no, like, it's a lot of stuff. Sounds awesome, yeah. <laughs> Fifty pieces too. There's a lot. It is. George, would you like work. to tell us something else exciting happening? Sure. This is our Kickstarter alert. It's our Kickstarter. Do we have a, do we have a drop for that? A little, we need one. We need, we need the whoop whoop. Is there anyone something. that makes drops? Can someone make us a Kickstarter? You do alert one drop? right now. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Epic Star Wars Kickstarter. This is the toy artist Robert Xavier Burden. He launched a Kickstarter to help create two massive 10 foot by 14 foot Star Wars themed so oil paintings. Awesome. Um, awesome. Not only are there awesome incentives to choose from, such as posters and prints and gicles and shirts, <laughs> <Gicles>. <laughs> um, but you you can also help decide what two paintings he's going to do. He's having like yes. a bracket style vote off yes. um, on his Facebook page. And I think it's just uh, facebook.com slash robert.burden.art. Hey. I picked up a shirt. Did you? Did you? Yeah, Fantastic. Nice. He has, um, I think it's an exclusive uh, He-Man 
t-shirt. Sorry, yes. I'm all over that. Yes, yeah. there was an attorney in. That. Yeah. With the, yeah. And if That's anyone right. hasn't seen his work in person, you should try and find it. Like if he's at has any at a show so near you. So hard to find though. Because he's in a show huge. right now in San Francisco. Um, I think it's open for the rest of this month. I think. Um, but if you can see it in person, it's so worth seeing this stuff in person because jaw dropping. The pictures online, you don't understand how enormous these things are. And they had the Battle Cat one was at Gallery 1988, like last year, I think, when they did that He Man show or Two Year show. Yeah. And uh, it's just so cool to see in person. And now that one's in the Mattel lobby. Yeah. Yeah. And then we also the saw the, the Tauntaun. Yeah, he had a bunch of them at that, yeah. at the um, La Luce. La Luce show. Oh, nice. And they're yeah, huge. Cool. That was down the street. I missed that. Ah. So if you get a chance to see this stuff in person, check it out. And also just help back this Kickstarter. And it's yeah. cool. And go vote on the toys. And that Kickstarter ends June 13th. So go check that out. Now, speaking of Kickstarter and exciting things happening in the world of toys and art. Yes. Take it away, guest. Actually, <laughs> That's um, too much for me. <laughs> you're like, wait, what? <laughs> you um, read. <laughs> so I'm going to try to pronounce this correctly, and I hope I do. The Dwarves? Do we do ours? He says it both ways. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> you can't say both. You have, you have to, to have right. one. Yeah, you pick. It's you your money. It's a choose your own yeah, adventure. Yeah, it's your money. Choose your own adventure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The how would you say it? Dwarves. Or is it the dwar dwar I'd say dwarves because it's supposed to be dwarves. dwarves. Correct. Yeah, it's so an dwarves. old. It's an old English version of the spelling for dwarves. Oh. Um, John has this whole really long meaning to, to this to the story, but yeah, um, they're basically these little guys that live in this somewhat post-apocalyptic world, and you know they're very very whimsical. I mean, they're they're just little robots that go around and fix things for no reason. And it, this is all stuff that comes out of John's mind. And if you've ever met John, like you guys have, you'd know that you know things just kind of randomly happen for this guy. So that's uh, that's the basic background of, of that story. Awesome. So what you can do is you could own a Dwarves art book by John Ottinger, who we were just speaking of. Yep. Uh, it's a 60 plus page art book. It's on Kickstarter right now. There's a ton of incentives, including um, prints and shirts and uh, the book. Eh, something else. Oh, of course, the book. The book and hubcaps and... Hubcaps? <laughs> yeah, oh, there's, there's, there's a, no, there's not. Was yeah, there? I missed yeah, that. There is a, 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 there's a small section where basically it's... How did I miss um, that? You pick your tribe, and he paints the logo of that tribe on a hubcap for you. And it's just kind of, you know, kind of the the way that the world in in that little world gets separated, and that's all that's the little funny. tribes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I awesome. think they're called tribe markers. So look for them. I think they're. I don't. I don't know where they're at. But, they're <laughs> but check out a couple that. bucks. So now that Kickstarter ends on June seventh. You can check the link in the show notes. And if that wasn't enough to get you interested in it, here's one of the other incentives. Uh, what? So this little guy is our uh, resin inter interpretation of the uh, dwarves and or dwarves. So cute. Yeah, and he's uh, he's a super cute little guy. He stands about five and a half inches or so. Um, this will be cast by John himself and hand painted. So they're all exclusive. Blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah, yeah, blood, sweat, and tears. Everything goes into these guys. Um, and he'll be casting a very limited number, and I'm not going to embarrass myself by giving a number. Now, will they be but. painted? Yes, they will. That's amazing. They're That's all so be much work. Hand painted, hand cast, the whole the whole nine. And do you remember the incentive level, the pledge level that you would need to get this guy? It's okay I if you don't. Should have been better prepared. Okay. I'm no, sure no. you'll have That's a okay. graphic that like. <laughs> you can check all the links. Go to the link in the show note for the Kickstarter, and you can see all the all the incentives because there's so much stuff that yeah. you could get and wonderful things with John's art on there. Yeah. And the dwarves. The guy's have, amazing. I'm going to have to go and up mine because I only backed for the book. <laughs> I might have to go and up for one of these little dudes. Yes. But yeah, once you definitely. go see the art, I think you're going to be impressed. I think yeah. you're going to want, regardless of all this thing, you're going to want this, You're going to, but you're going to want the book. Help make this happen because I want the book. Yeah. Go, just so. just <laughs> take five seconds and go look at it. It's really, John has amazing art. Yeah, and we'll, we'll be posting more videos on uh, on him making the book and, and mm. how he does everything. But literally the, the quick or short version of it is, He's been traveling on the train for about four years now, and it's an hour in and an hour back mm -hmm. and everything. So he, he looks out the window and just looks at things that are just catch his eye, and he starts drawing all of these things. And that's where most of these things came out of. I mean, there's like this guy was, I mean, you can kind of see the, the resemblance of it, but it's a little water tower. You know, he oh, goes yeah. by this water tower every day, and he's started drawing it. And then the homes are 
these um, these giant hangars that were on the side of the you know the train tracks you know the moon comes out of this balloon that he saw I mean all these things he just kind of quickly looks and he you know just sits there and draws brings it but, into the world yeah I mean he has five or ten sketches every day and he fills up a sketchbook Jeez. a week I mean, he's he's an animal when it comes to that kind of that's thing. That's wow. crazy. You could enjoy all of that stuff. We have both the the finished book, which is going to have all the finished images, and then we're also doing a a, um, a lower price point where it's a PDF of the making of the the doors, um, mm-hmm. which has you know thumbnail sketches, some some of his original ideas and edits and stuff like that, which is always cool to to have. Um, and I I believe that one starts at. 20 bucks and it also has a bunch of other stuff included with it that's but, awesome yeah. nice so definitely a lot of stuff to go check out on that one yeah now i believe aside from that you have another thing going right now yes we do so you have a little contest like a yeah. really little one happening like short <laughs> no, nobody's really ever heard of it just before. A, a quickie you know uh we have um we just announced about um, a couple weeks ago yeah we so just announced our we've partnership. had we've had these before on the show but they're back and in case you may not know, Edgar is actually the creator of the Yo. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> well. All right. So these are the Yo figures. The the. I think the last time. You oh yeah, that. <laughs> that's <Yo>. right. <laughs> so See, that's the Yo. Yo. That's what they do. So it's a vinyl platform figure, of course. Correct. Seven inch. Yes ready for you to customize and do whatever you want to do on. And you have an amazing, um, you and your partners, Three Coconut Monkey, have an amazing contest going on right now with none other than... Mr. Stan Lee. What? Yeah. Look at that, right on the side of the box even. Bam. (laughs) Would you like to... Super proud of that. I I could stumble over all of the information myself, but I think you would probably be bet. Better to tell us all the, the details. Sure. Okay. If you don't mind. Yeah, I haven't talked enough tonight. <laughs> um, so, well, one of the first things on this guy before I go into the, the contest. Yes, please. We actually um, made it so that he has three points of articulation now. Which is, oh, you're right. Which is even, yeah, which is even better. He, he now turns at the waist, which is... Does this um, one? Yeah, they, they all should be. Oh, well, they get tacked sometimes. Okay, obviously not. Just give it a second. Okay, Drake will break it. <laughs> Um, Look, you can do the twist. So yeah, so now he's able to to turn at the waist and both it's arms move, checker. obviously. So that's a, that's an added plus for me. Um, that's cool. <laughs> so getting to the contest part of things, um, we just signed a deal with Stan Lee, and he's um, being very gracious in order to allow us to use his name, and he's out and there. His and his likeness. Yeah, and, and his likeness, yeah, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> that's my. That's totally uh, him. It's a photo. Yeah, that's my doodle of, of Stan, <laughs> and he, he actually he liked it, so that's. How can you know? Plus. That's adorable. Thank you. Um, so yeah, we're we're doing the contest, and basically, any, anybody can purchase the figure on uh, on the website. You can go to threecoconutmonkey.com, dot mm-hmm. um, and you can pick it up either in the store or in the contest section, and. Um, once you pick them up, you get this little figure. You can customize them any way you want. Um, added bonus and all of this stuff is that some of these boxes, um, I've put one in five, but I'm actually doing a little bit better than one in five. Um, they include art cards. Oh. Uh, and I brought some of those to share with, with you guys as well. Ooh. Um, so these guys include art cards, and then the, the bonus on top of all of that is for the show, Mr. Stan Lee has actually um, allowed us to put a couple of golden tickets into these boxes Whoa. which are automatic automatic wins you get a meet and greet with stan there's posters there's t-shirts that he'll sign you wow. know there's all kinds of swag that he's That's actually fantastic. personally gonna 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 sign um grand prize for for the uh, the contest is gonna be in part I and mean, you can read all the the rules and everything all the details but at three coconut monkeys.com um, three coconut monkey.com and um Part of it is going to be a meet and greet with Stan. There's going to be a super cool um, trophy that I'm in the middle of, of making right now, and that's going to be featuring this little guy here. Oh, nice. that's and awesome! And he stands about five, five inches as well, somewhere around there. That's cool. Yeah. Now, so people, so anybody can go to the site, get one of these, customize it. Well, how do they enter? So I've now made my little hero. Mine's um, Blizzard. His name's Blizzard. He's done <laughs> right now. You can't see him in the snow. 
that, that um, <laughs> so what do I do with it now? I'm like, I want to enter my well, pretend, it, pretend it's customized. Creativity <laughs> is encouraged. Yes. Yeah. So, so yeah, even Blizzard can, can go on there. So all you do is you take some, take some photos of them and um, submit them to um, contest at threecoconutmonkey.com. So okay. all you have to do is take a picture, send it over to contest at threecoconutmonkey.com, and we'll post the pictures on our website. There'll mm -hmm. be a gallery specifically for all the entries, and then Stan Lee himself is going to be looking at all of these and, and helping us narrow down the field and judge the top ten. Fantastic. Yeah. So when is the deadline for people to send their picture in? October 1st. <laughs> October 1st is the I'm deadline for that. I'm horrible with numbers and, That's okay. and days. So. And like you said, there's the first, second, and third place prizes, but there's also the... Um, now, I actually have this information. There are also certificates for seven additional categories. Correct. Including best use of clay, best use of paint, best use of fabric, best use of pen, best use of marker, best use of hair, and best use of yellow. Oh. Yeah. And that's our, that's our that's color racist. for this year. <laughs> that is racist. It sorry. can be, I guess. <laughs> wow. I, I love all no, bananas. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, you're a monkey. You're a three coconut yes. monkey. Um, th that's really cool because... You may not necessarily have, oh, this is, it, it's not the catchiest design ever, but maybe it is the best use of hair. Yeah, and that's, that's really what we're going that's after awesome. because not everybody's an artist, and we realize that. Um, we run into, into that problem all the time, and, and really we don't want anybody to look at this and look at it as a, as a task. You know, it's supposed to be fun. Yeah. So if you, if, you know, if you think it, it would look awesome in purple, green, yellow, whatever, you know, Mostly paint yellow. it. Paint it whatever color you like, or you know, do whatever you want on top of this guy, and just have fun. That's really what we're, what we're about. Fantastic, and of course, sharing, yeah, sharing your finished custom, and then um, the f the finalists will be at Kamikaze. The finalists will be invited to send their their actual custom at yes, the final to, to the show. Customs. Yeah, so once you're once you're finished with it, don't throw it away or anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, though there is a chance that Stan will will pick you to be one of one of the top ten. And at that point, we'll, uh, we'll invite you to Kamikaze, and we'll have the, the figures all displayed at Kamikaze. Nice. Um, and, um, oh, he's a DJ. <laughs> no? Uh, yeah. So Kamikaze will be uh, early November, I believe, this year. Um, correct. Somewhere around there. I'm not good with It's dates. the weekend before Designer Con, whatever that date is. I don't know those dates. It's like the second. Oh, third. yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I remember now. That's how November first through third. <laughs> ah, see now he knows. <laughs> I just need a little little jump or. So after okay. all that, then you can come to DesignerCon and relax the next yes, weekend, right? Yes, yes, that's exactly <laughs> what we're planning on. DesignerCon, we will be there. Definitely. Fantastic, fantastic. That's amazing. So you guys have a lot going on with the product. I mean, obviously you've done a redesign of the product. Mm -hmm. You can go get the. How much are they on your site? They are twenty two. Fantastic. And that includes your entry into the contest and everything. Correct, yeah. We're not charging anything extra for the contest. We're just... Uh, Fantastic. And you could get the golden ticket. Yeah, yeah. And there's a chance you, you can get oh, the golden the ticket or the art cards. And so part of uh, part of the prizes that you can get inside of one of these, you'll open it up and you might get a little envelope. And in that envelope, you'll get some super cool art cards. Whoa. There's some very talented people really out there. Really cute. Um, the bots. I love those guys. They're, they have some amazing customs. Super Tony cute. Tony and Jen bought. So when you say art cards, it's not like printed you're, you're, cards. They're actual, actual sketch cards. Correct. You're actually getting the cards from from the you know directly from the artist's hands. That's so cool. And what I do is I, I put them into these boxes, and it's a great way to cross promote these artists. Absolutely. You know, again, we love helping other artists. That's you know really how we got our start. So um, you know, you also get some stickers. Eeks, Yay. Eeks art. I believe sent over some stickers nice. as well. And there are a cool. bunch of stickers and you know randomly thrown into these um, into these envelopes as well. So as if the figure weren't enough, you could you get, get a, original art on cards or possibly a golden ticket to meet Stan Lee. You don't know what you're going to get in these boxes. It's basically like a blind box. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's, I, I love you're blind boxes. You're definitely getting this, <laughs> but it's also got some blind box element surprise yeah. to it. Yeah. And that's the beautiful part about it, right? That's fantastic. You Congratu get. Congratulations on all of this. Thank you. You're blowing up. Have I, you made this guy yet? Because I that's started. awesome. <laughs> I did start on it. <laughs> There's Thank a skeleton you. guy on the back of the box that you should buy the box and look at because that skeleton guy's awesome. Just buy the box. Just the box I'll sell you the box by itself, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Plus shipping. Plus shipping, yes. Yeah, don't forget shipping, please. <laughs> International shipping, oof. 
Um, so are there any other shows or anything you're going to be at before Kamikaze? Yeah, we're we're doing our small circuit. We're going to be at Anime Expo, ah, yes. San Diego Comic Con. Uh, we'll be in the small press area. I believe it's N14. I don't know how ah, I remember that. But nice. <laughs> I'm impressed. I think. <laughs> I don't even remember our booth number. They changed numbers, it this year. Well, numbers come different. and go in my head. It's 4951, I think. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. Don't quote so, me on that. Look for us at Anime N14. Expo and 14 N14. at San Diego Comic Con. We will be, we're hoping to do New York Comic Con. Nice. Um, Designer Con, of course. Of course, of course. Yes. Kamikaze. Maybe at Kamikaze. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're at Kamikaze. If I'm still alive by then. <laughs> I haven't passed out. Um, there are a couple other shows, and I'm going to. But I bet you can that. watch all that information at 3coconutmonkey.com. Yes. yes. Fantastic. And most of the time I do update that stuff. <laughs> so get your yo, check out where they're going to be. Um, it's cool. You've got a lot of cool stuff going on. Thank I don't you. remember Stan Lee ever being involved in any other designer toy. So that's pretty rad. <laughs> yeah. And I, you know, I think it's for me, I, I've, I, my background is um, in toy design and I and I've always designed for big companies. You know, I, I've done a lot of very mainstream stuff sold at Target and Walmarts and stuff like that. And, for me, it just, you know, the, the world of urban vinyl, you know, the way that, that we say it, and, you know, the mass market is like, you know, it it should exist in its own right. I mean, it, it needs to exist in, in these mass market outlets and, you know, so that you can go out and pick one up for a few bucks and, you know, and do your thing and not have to go necessarily just have to go to, to a convention to, to find these things. You mm-hmm. know? Yeah. It should be a little more readily available. It's happening. It's happening, I think. Yeah. Thanks to people like you. Yeah, I, I'm doing what I can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, speaking of doing what we can, I think we can go get some blind box. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time! Really? That was your little segue? <laughs> <laughs> what do we have today, George? Today, we have some My Little Pony Friendship Woo-hoo! Magic. My Little Pony. My Friendship little is pony. magic. Brownie alert. I haven't warmed up my voice, so I can't do that. (laughs) All right, so you have to pick which one you want. And of course, I want Twilight Sparkle because I love Twilight Sparkle. And these are legit My Little Pony ones, not like those bootleg ones. My Little Phony. They're not My Little Phony. Okay, so I have to pick Banana Fluff since I. uh, Where's Banana Fluff? I think that says Banana Fluff. How is the writing so tiny? Yeah, no, 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 that says Banana Fluff. That looks delicious. I want Cherry Fizzy. Is that what that says? Although Soren looks pretty awesome. So does Lucky Clover. Oh, I kind of like Lucky Clover a lot. Or Apple Fritter. <laughs> all right. Or Berry Dreams. No, you're just picking all of them now. I picked one from each row. You can't pick one from each row. Is there a trick to these? Rip. Like a man with your teeth. No. <laughs> so if you look closely, though, there is a hole in the bag. So if you were in the store, you could... Kind of me. Wiggle your pony oh, yeah, up yeah, to the yeah. hole in the bag. Wiggle your pony. Wiggle your pony is right. Where's the hole? This Upper right corner there? That hole. But you oh. can't really see anything through that hole. No, you could at least get a color. Look, if you what? get that over there. No way. You can't see that. You could probably shine like a color into that. And maybe be like, I think I see yellow. If somebody cared enough about collecting the tiny My Little Ponies. Yeah. I don't know that. that would think to do that. Look at this stamps. one might be for you. I got, I got banana bliss. Oh, what? Oh, but she's not yellow. She's not yellow. But she's got bananas as her cutie mark. Boom. Oh, that's awesome. You got Rainbow Dash? Did I? Yeah. I got Flourish. <laughs> she is yellow. You want the yellow one? Nice. <laughs> she See? talks to the woodland animals. Likes taking care of her friends, is what it says. Mm-hmm. Banana bliss loves to dance on the ground and in the air. In your pants. <laughs> in your pants. Let's see, Rainbow Dash These is always cool. ready to help her friends. Aww. Aww. I Friendship. do like her colors. Those are cool. Rainbow Dash oh. is awesome, I think. I don't know. I kind of like Banana Bliss's hair. But it is purple, so. With the purple streak. Yeah. What am, I, what am I How can you say no to that? <laughs> All right, so ponies. Did we Very mention cool. that they're translucent? They are translucent. In case you uh, did not see that, translucent. This. I'm not sure why, because in the cartoon they're not translucent. And in real life, That's ponies nice are not touch, translucent. Though. Although I do have to say I like the stance. Because then you can sell them twice. Because like your regular peg ponies. In there. Oh, What's a peg for? That's a very good question. 
Do they have bases? I wonder if these come oh, in other sets where you can get I bases and stuff. I think they sell, mm. um, like, little, you know, houses or stands or ice cream parlors or whatever the little pony oh, scenario nice. is. I think they do sell those for these. Look, that one's got, like, think. goggles and stuff. Like, what's that guy? That is one of the fly... Oh, what are their names? Ah! Pop is quiz. this some kind of a, like team because look it has it's the yes, something collection the, the lightning bolt flyers mm. the bolt, See, i just ripped the my bag bolt? i wasn't even paying attention they're not called the lightning bolt flyers yeah they're, they're basically like the um what are those angels called the blue angels Cry crystal empire they're the blue no it's the flyers it's the something flyers like the jets are you yeah of so it's like the the what are they the angels the blue angels right I just what are the you flyover about? team. You guys know the Blue Angels when you go to like an air show and they fly in uniform okay. in formation. That's what, that's these what guys these ponies are? do. There's like a group of like five oh, blue ponies it. or whatever, however many there are, and they all have the the goggles and Rainbow so Dash desperately wants to be on the team. But Soren, right there. Misty Fly, yeah. and Spitfire. Are yes. Just those three? Uh, no, there's more than that in the in the show, but oh, okay. in the series apparently there's that many. That's cool. Those three are the best. Look at their cool manes Maybe it's and the stuff. Lightning bolt. They got like bigger wings and like cool manes and big tails. So you want to watch some My Little Pony with me? I'll show no. you. No. <laughs> but it's so cute. It's so much fun. You know what else is fun? Reviews. Cool. All right, enough ponies. Let's get on to some real things. Okay, guns. up first. It's not so much a toy as it is a... It is from Kickstarter. Was this from Kickstarter? No, just Facebook. Just Ooh. Facebook. Giant Dragon Bust. This is called Goliath Dragon. Um, this was sculpted by Anthony Watkins. And he it's a 12 and a half inch bust. And uh, basically I was just I was a fan of his page on Facebook and I've been watching his sculptures and I saw this one come up for sale. He just said, Hey, I'm selling copies of it. If anybody wants one, contact wow. me. So I contacted him and checked it out it was a hundred and ten dollars plus 15 shipping so it was 125 bucks it comes unpainted with you know it's nice, right? basically kit buying where you have to do the cleanup you know so there's a little bit of seams a little bit of flashing um, on the bottom a little extra flashing on the on the goatee i kind of like that piece though oh yeah um, i kind of thought it was part of it i did too it adds a little bit to it. well but then it goes into like a little tube yeah the goatee the is there, there but then oh, like you got to yeah. take that little tube yeah yeah off. i guess you got to take that little piece it's so, more noticeable from the side than, than yeah. from the front. Yeah. So, One could just reshape it and make it part of the But, goatee. I mean, <laughs> very little flashing. and the very really Like, nice. I don't even think Shame. there are air bubbles in this, which is pretty nice for a casting like that. Um, it's a it's solid, easy. solid chunk of resin. That's why it's $110. Right. Um, which is a pretty good deal, I think. And the sculpting is really nice. And he has more than just this. He has a bunch of different dragons. So, like, if this one doesn't do it for you, check out some of the others. There's a couple with, like, there's, like, two sets of eyes, like, here and, like, here. It's really cool looking. What do you think this little hole's for? I don't know. Like, maybe reins or something? Like, I, I didn't... That was the one part of it that kind of bugged little, me. It's his ear hole. It's his ear hole. Yeah. It could I, just be part of the design. It could be an ear hole. I, it, <laughs> it just looks, like, too big for some reason. Like, it stands out, like, this weird hole. These yeah, eyes there's, are there's amazing. There's, like, a, It kind of ramps up like yeah. there's supposed yeah. to be something there maybe it maybe it's an extra horn or something yeah i don't know but it's in the it's in the original crazy. it's in the sculpt and it was there on purpose so. yeah it's beautiful it's a is it would you consider this finished like it's a little rough it feels to me uh yeah i mean it's it's supposed to be textured i think like so it's okay. you know that's kind of the scales of the dragon so now are you going to clean up all this flashing and yeah extra bits cool but then i don't really I don't think I could do justice to this thing in paint, so I'm going to have to find someone to paint it because I want it to look really cool. I don't want to just have What do you a, want it to look like? Twilight know. Sparkle. Twilight Sparkle. Some <laughs> Misty Fire or what was the other one? Yeah, the, Nana. <laughs> Frizz. The only thing, as much as I like this, I do wish there's like ever so slightly something more to the... His base is kind of suck. The base? But that's not... On these dragons. But like. it's not like a, a make it or break it point. Like yeah. It's not like, oh, I'm not going to buy it because of that. It's just like, ah... I just wish there was one little thing about like one little like it, it would flame be cool. or something. I guess I maybe know. when you paint it up, you make this look like metallic, so it looks like a metal base oh, or that something. Could be cool. I, I don't know the ba like it's the one thing about the dragon sculpts that I don't like are the is the base. Like they're they're all kind of just like really it's plain. It's just smooth. It's just hmm. it's not ornate. It doesn't like it doesn't add or detract from it. It's just there. Right. Yeah. But he's got other things like that have this like 
he has this one that's on this like really cool looking like carved stone base like other oh, wow. things that have really the cool base bases. makes sense yeah Maybe he just likes the simplicity of this so that the dragon stands out. I think that's yeah, what it is. I honestly because there's so even much detail. Really didn't paid much attention okay. to the base. That's just me. Yeah. Just me. Don't listen to me. I mean, it's <laughs> it's a really attractive piece, and there's so much so much going on and layering, and, it's and like crazy, you said, though. I I still can't tell if it has air bubbles or not. I, I mean, I don't see like just the overall glance at first. I didn't see any, and it's really great. I'm glad about that. Well, he planned it well kits. so that they make scales. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, so the the texture act, it hides it with the texture. Exactly. Or something, but but if you're a sculptor or a training sculptor, like sculptor in training, it's cool to buy stuff like this just to see how other what other people's work looks mm -hmm. like and like the the finish and quality of it and like just like his the wrinkle technique he does and like the in the lower you know the lower jaw yeah. here is really nice. And so many layers of textures and like, I don't know, it's really cool. Yeah. Nice. Thank you for sharing, George. Thank you for sharing, Anthony Watkins. <laughs> another, speaking of resin pieces, we have another fun little thing. Uh, this is the Grim Brim. Ah, yes. This a little smaller than the, the last one. <laughs> a little bit smaller. <laughs> wah, wah. But you can also paint it yourself. Oh, very cool. This is a concept by Gabe Berrigan, sculpt by Kyle T, and production by The God Beast. It's a two-inch resin figure. This actually debuted at C2E2, so just a minute ago. I wish I could have gone to that one. I know. One of these days we'll, we'll make it out. We'll I've heard out. I've heard a lot. I, I've actually seen more on Instagram of that show than anything else. Seriously? Yeah. Interesting. I don't think I've seen anything from C2E2. Really? Well, Instagram. Oh, Maybe I'm just not following the right people. Maybe. Sorry. You can follow me. Yay! <laughs> I'm so terrible about remembering to follow people on Instagram. So it comes with two little buttons. Because <laughs> it's oh, not at bad. the computer. I have to be on my phone to remember yeah. to do it. I hate that. Well, anyway, I can get into this whole Instagram <laughs> thing. We'll talk about that later on Instagram break. Things I hate. <laughs> <laughs> with Little House. All right, so this is the Grim Brim. And some... I like it. I can't place my... I like the figure a lot. And I can't place the figure. But like... It reminds me of a character from like either a 60s or 70s like cartoon show and I can't like a hillbilly yeah 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 do you know what I'm talking about and I can't for the life of me remember what the cartoon was it's rad I, I like how the top kind of looks like oogie boogie oh it does you know it kind of has that feel to it and then or the, the bottom hat. is just kinda... the, the sorting hat but it's eating the guy's head That's instead of cool. helping him out I like that the bottom it's like, is it eating him? Is it just kind of sitting well, there? It's from the mushroom. drawing, he's definitely oh, eating him. Oh, it's eating him. Never mind. <laughs> it's definitely eating. Poor hillbilly. Mm. I mean, this has a lot of detail. Look at it. It's even got his little button sculpt on there. Which is crazy because this was sculpted by Kyle, who was the guy who designed the Phantom Outhouse for the OMFG Series oh, 1. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. he's not the sculptor of the Phantom Outhouse. But if he could sculpt this, why didn't he just sculpt the Phantom Outhouse? Maybe he didn't want to sculpt it. That's crazy. Kyle? So I think. Kyle. Psh. <laughs> but this is awesome. I love this little figure, and he fits He's in. He's so cute. I mean, here's the Phantom Outhouse, so he fits in real well with that oh. size figure. And Oh, yeah. And, and what's this guy? Is him. this resin? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Lightweight little resin. Yeah. Guy. I love the idea of the big hat. It's a really great character design, and I think it's pretty well executed. Yeah, and there's no, like, you know, no little seams or air bubbles again. Yeah, like, it's beautiful. It's all perfect. Like, it's a great, you Go know, God Beast. Yeah. Great I've... casting for the figure. Yeah, I can definitely appreciate a good casting in resin. <laughs> yeah. I suck at It's such a pain resin. in the butt. It's it's time consuming. It definitely is. And energy draining. It helps to have a pro like the God Beast doing it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who knows what he's doing? Speaking of the God Beast, you can go to godbeast.com to check out his work. And you can also go to kylt.blogspot.com. Link in the show notes. And um, I don't know, maybe they'll have these up at some point. Uh, give... Uh, from Gabe, I think, is where well, you can Gabe get Well, Gabe has an email address, which is mrpist666 at comcast.net. So... M R Okay. So get a big cartel, <laughs> Gabe. Uh, it's free. Definitely. It's free for five products. I'm just saying, make it easy. I think people will buy these. Yeah, I'd buy it. Right? I it's did. It's a cool little piece. How Done. much are these? 20 bucks. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good price point. And you get the two buttons. It's a good oh. little piece, and the the card itself and they come is in cool. All different yeah, the card is. Oh yeah, we didn't even mention how cute the yeah, the card artwork is, is. Really cool. It's yeah, fun. Like it. It's a good package. Does it have a story? Supporting some back? fun little minifigs. Oh yeah, look, it has. Oh no, it doesn't have a story. Well, it's it got does the, have a story. Although the toxic spill that created the Phantom Outhouse was thought to be contained 
to that one incident, several reports have indicated that another creature nicknamed the Grim Brim by locals seems to be terrorizing the area as well. You can read the rest when you buy your own. Yeah, I thought she was going to read the whole thing. I'll just do the first sentence. <laughs> it's that is very cool. Butt. And he's got a butt. Everything needs a butt. He's, oh, he's got underwear on. Yeah, he's got undies on. He has Underoos. a butt. It's just under his underwear. Nice undies. butt. <laughs> underoos. <gasps> you could paint them like underoos. Yeah. Adorable. Then right. the, as Javi calls them. I'm sorry, what? Dun 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 Okay. Huh? <laughs> Derailed. What? That was for Javi. I don't know if you even watch this. All right, so we have one final thing for episode 262. This is Rack Toys. This is a book. What? Yes, we can read. It's mostly pictures, though. Don't get the wrong idea. So, actually, here, I'm going to This is like the pictures. internet before there was the internet. I'm sorry, what? Pictures. There was no internet? Pictures with descriptions underneath them. <laughs> this is... Um, Where's the grumpy cat? By Brian... Oh, wow. Heiler? Healer? I'm going to say Healer. Heiler. It's 144 pages of color photos of vintage, cheap, crazed playthings. This goes for 20 bucks. You can find it at racktoysbook.com. You can also uh, go to your local uh, designer toy retailer and tell them to get it from DKE. They can get it for you. And, of course, you should also check out plaidstallions.com, who they also helped create this crazy, amazing book of stuff from our childhoods and our parents' childhoods. Plaid Stallions, if you're not going to, is an awesome <coughs> website with, with reference to this kind of stuff, like old toys and tons of this stuff. So it's basically looking at their website here in a book form. That's cool. Coffee table um, format. Yeah. There was one. Do you like these kind of like oh, I love vintage-y? It. Like, this totally, f- really awesome. flipping through this book is like going to a swap meet to me. It is. And you're just like, oh, it yes. Is, yeah. And the nice part about it is that you can, I mean, it's kind of like a collection. You know, you have everything right there and... For me, I love this type of stuff because I, I use it for, you know, all kinds of stuff. I mean, designs from, you know, from back then, something, mm. you know, that you liked or thought you liked and then you, know, you bring it back. Yeah. I mean, a lot of stuff you, you remember as being larger than life. and You, know, you do. You and then you're like, it, it wasn't. Up. Yeah. You look at it again. And you're like, oh, I could do that <laughs> or try. And this, like you said, I never yeah. even thought of it as a great place to get inspiration from. Yeah. Oh, I, I use stuff like that all the time for my stuff. You never know what... I mean, you could be looking at anything. A pony and something hits you. You're like, translucent with pink hair, yes. I need a translucent spider. You need a hungry mouse in the cheese house. Yeah. (laughs) You need neck pets. But it's also a really... (laughs) Neck neck pets? pets? That is very weird. That's a Tamagotchi (laughs) before a Tamagotchi existed. Wow, Pooper power. Poopa troopers. (laughs) Oh, I love those guys. I have a few of those. Do you really? I do. Oh, that's hilarious. You can still find those at, um, you know, grocery stores and stuff in that little section where they have the toys. No way. You can still find the Poopy Troopers. Yeah. I had no idea. Longevity. Space. Moon exploring. So this is also a really well done book, I would like to say. The photographs are beautiful. They definitely are. The toys, questionable on some pages. Some of them amazing. Some of them bootleg-ish. But the pictures of everything are just beautiful. So it's a really well produced book. Well, I like all toys, so... That's my opinion on that. <laughs> wow, everything. <laughs> just everything across the board. There's He's a in. section for knockoff stuff, too. Look. Oh, sweet. The swingers. It's like, <laughs> the Beatles. It's just the <laughs> Beatles that. knockoff figures. What's that? Man and shark. shark. Two pieces, man and shark. <laughs> I'm guessing that came out right after Jaws. Just See, guessing. You know, if you saw that at a swap meet or flea market, you'd, you'd it. probably get it. But now yeah. you don't have to because you've got a picture of it. Exactly. <laughs> so now you can <laughs> laugh and show your friends without... Without having to have that. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, shall we on to events while you're pr- finished perusing the book? Yeah, go ahead. Excellent. Coming up right around the corner, or actually in the corner, on the corner, not sure. This oh, weekend, was... Phoenix Comic Con. It's the signature pop culture experience of the Southwest at Phoenix Convention Center in Phoenix, Arizona from May 23rd to May 26th. PhoenixComicCon.com. We're actually going to probably be there, like Friday. So not probably. We're going to be there. We're going to be there Friday, but hey, nice. not like at a booth. Just walking around, say hi. If you see us, come say hello. Come say hello. I'll take your picture, because that's what I do. Maybe I'll give you a deadbeat. What? You're going to have a pocket full of deadbeats? a pocket full of deadbeats. <laughs> hey, big boy. <laughs> say hello. Are you happy to see me, or is that Tell a deadbeat in break. your pocket? Get a free deadbeat Whoa. from my pocket. I watched Toy Break. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to reach in his pocket and get the deadbeat. There you that's go. The that's, that's, <laughs> oh, that uh, trick. That's the trick. <laughs> also, Dream in Plastics Custom Toy Show. This will be Dream in Plastics' 
third annual custom toy show at Dream and Plastic in Beacon, New York, from June 8th to July 20th, 12th, sorry, July 12th, dreamandplastic.com. And of course... Brick World, a Lego fan convention at the Renaissance Convention Center in Schamburg, Illinois. <laughs> I don't know where that is. It sounds fun. June twelfth through the sixteenth, brickworld.us. And if you're not in really Il- can't get a dot com. I'm not in charge of the show. I don't know. Um, if you're not in Illinois that weekend, you should be at Legoland California for Star Wars Days. You can come see fan-made Lego Star Wars models join in kids' costume contests. You can hang out with the 501st. So much Star Wars stuff. Just a whole weekend of Star Wars fun at Legoland California in Carlsbad, California, June 15th and 16th, legoland.com. What a great thing to give Dad for Father's Day. They made the Brick World thing and the Lego Star Wars thing on the same weekend? Yeah. Well, that it's seems... because Legoland isn't owned by Lego... And Lego isn't involved with either of these things. Yeah, but like they couldn't like exactly. see the calendar. Exactly. So everything and look I'm saying everything. is but useless. they have but they have Legos there, and they're not owned. But that that's what you said, right? Yeah. Neither of those has anything to do with Lego. Yeah, but like company. Brick World can't look at the calendar and see when Legoland is doing. Their oh event, well, the problem with that is that Legoland does not announce Star Wars days until. They're like, sneaky that way. Yeah, they wait like until a couple months ahead of time. So they couldn't look at the calendar and see when Brickworld was and been like, hey, we shouldn't do it the Here's same week because probably Legoland the same people want to come to this. probably isn't as in tune with the Lego. They're, they're working on a better community relations program. We have an amazing setup you should come see. I won't tell you what it is, but there's going to be a really fun um, collaborate, collaborative uh, scene building thing from San Lug and Legola and PCH Lug. And cool. All Sounds the cool. local Lego So users. wherever you are in the U.S., there's probably one close to you that weekend. There's probably something happening. <laughs> And that's it for episode 262. Don't forget you can save money with Toy Break coupons, bunches of different places online. You can check the show notes at toybreak.com for complete details as well as links to everything we talk about. All this good stuff. Links to him, links to these, links to that, links to him. You can also watch past episodes. You can join in the contests on the forum. You can join in the discussions on the forum. You can check out the goodies page for fun freebies like paper toys of us, Toy Break paper toys. There's three different versions by Alexander Gwynn, Zakane, and Castlefort. Those are pretty awesome. It's really fun, huh? Yeah. You can also help support the show by doing what you do every day, which is shopping online. Just click the Amazon link on toybrick.com. Do your Amazon shopping as normal. We should have a contest one time where... Or not, a, not a contest. How about a, just a... I'm calling you out. Make one of the paper toys and then destroy it in a clever way and videotape it. And we'll use it as a toy break. Ooh. What's the contest? What do they No, there's win? no contest. You don't win anything. You win the honor That's of having your video at the end of the video. <laughs> That's not an incentive. The incentive is to destroy us. In a fun, playful way. Send it to us. Maybe you'll get something. And you know where you could send it? Well, first, you could call and leave us a voicemail at uh, 818-AM-I-GOOD. Right. But if you want to send video, you can send it to info at toybreak.com. Or post it on YouTube and send us a link. Or post it on YouTube. Or use uh, WeTransfer, excellent oh. site for transferring video. You can also keep up with us on Facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak. You can watch our toy briefs, our toy girls, and full episodes of Toy Break at youtube.com slash toybreak. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Aileen Gaspar. At George Gaspar. At Little House Designs. Yay! And do you want to throw out your website again and all the stuff that you got going on? ThreeCoconutMonkey.com. And you can find the links to the Dwyors Kickstarter, and you can find... Or dwarves, dwarves. <laughs> yeah, because I tried to find it earlier by spelling it, and I was just like, I. I did too. I was like, like eh, I, was, I, uh, yeah, I had to go back uh, and like find my old link. Well, you know, where I backed a, it. another thing they can do if you're lazy and you just want to go straight to Kickstarter, uh, search for Robot Book, and it's robot. the only one. I made sure that it was the only one that. Well, it's one of like five that comes up under Robot Book. You'll find okay. it. it's the one that looks like dwarves, but it's dwarves. Yeah, and a quick shout out to Playful Gorilla for the cool T-shirt. Yay! Thank you, the basic shirt. Nice. And of course. And Yo. Yo. You can find Yo on our store and um, participate in the amazing Stanley yeah. judged contest. Like, that's crazy. I know. What and a fun collaboration. You can go to therealstanley.com as well and find information there. They did a little oh, bio. They did a video. On, yeah. Oh, the, the video's on our site as well. I cool. stole it from them. Um, <laughs> I, I think it's okay. It's not stealing. Yeah, I, I, it's your thing. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I totally snagged that video from them, and it's on our site as well. But if you go to the real Stan Lee, they have um, a little a little blog post about Three Coconut Monkey and who we are, what what we do. Um, they also have um, another very important part of it, and I almost forgot was our partnership with the Alliance, and that's um, through Scholastic. And we're doing, um, we'll save the the rest of that information for another time. But we're doing a celebrity auction 
from uh, some of these some of these little guys will get um, decorated by some really cool people oh, in wow. the industry, and you know we'll get we'll get some of those to be auctioned off, and those that that money will go directly to the Alliance um, Foundation, and that's through Scholastic as well. Oh, that's that's awesome. fantastic. Yeah. Well, definitely let us know when you have more information on that. Yeah, definitely. Well, so we can share that. And uh, was that all of your your places to go online for people? I think so. I'm I'm dizzy from all the talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, then we're gonna go get this man some food. We will see you next week, same toy time, same toy channel. Bye, everyone. You never wave. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs>